Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial and video, I'm going to be talking about differences and I'm going to compare CapCut and Final Cut Pro. So in here, in my screen, I have a comparison of both of these video editing software programs. So first of all, I'm just going to discuss the basic functionality and just a basic comparison. So let's discuss CapCut against Final Cut Pro. So as you can see, CapCut is free and Final Cut Pro is paid, one-time purchase. Platforms that these applications are available on are as follows. CapCut is available on iOS, Android, Windows, Linux and Mac OS, which is not a bad choice. And Final Cut Pro is only available on Mac OS. So if you do not have a Mac OS device, you will not be able to use Final Cut Pro. So this is mostly for Apple Mac OS devices. Now under user, now under user interface, which basically will correspond to how good and comfortable user interface in both of these programs will be to use in daily usage. So as you can see, beginner friendly and easy navigation is going to be about the CapCut and Mac OS Final Cut Pro version is going to be steeper in terms of how fast and easy it's going to be to learn it. Now under social media integration, we have direct sharing to social media platforms like TikTok, YouTube, etc. And Final Cut Pro requires manual exports for sharing. So not as comfortable as CapCut, of course. Now we have AI powered features, advanced text to speech. This is actually a very, very good feature that I would recommend anyone to use. So if you wish to generate automated captions for your videos, you can do that easily with CapCut. And unfortunately, Final Cut Pro does not allow it. Also in CapCut, we have auto background removal, auto cut, auto reframe, and other useful features. So as you can see in general, the function set of CapCut is going to be quite a bit bigger than the Final Cut Pro. So Final Cut Pro is paid and it has less features that you might want to use in 2024. So I would generally recommend using CapCut. Also, if you wish to extend the functionality of CapCut, you can of course buy a premium subscription. And lastly, we have a online version of CapCut, which is basically opening up your browser, just like I have here. You just open a new tab, you go to the official website of CapCut and you can use it easily in your browser without needing to download the actual application onto your computer. You basically don't need to install anything onto your PC, which is handy. And Final Cut Pro does not allow online versions of its software. So this is the basic comparison. And now, of course, let's see the basic features. All right, so the kind of features CapCut provides is multi-layer timeline editing, precise cutting, splitting, and trimming keyframe animations, transitions, and effects. Also, we have voiceover, stock music, and sounds available, interactive and responsive elements, background blur, and color changing. So quite a bit of features here, to be honest. Very nice pick. I would definitely go for CapCut. Now let's talk about Final Cut Pro. So we have magnetic timeline, media management tools, track objects, actually a nice feature. It also is present in uh, DaVinci Resolve, voice isolation, all right, now let's move forward and talk about advanced features. So CapCut provides text-to-speech synthesis, something I spoke just a bit earlier. Right over here, we have text-to-speech. Now then we have extensive text editing, subtitles and text templates, voice filters, voice characters, speech-to-song, interesting feature. Transcribe video in a click and precise body and face retouch. Now advanced features of Final Cut Pro. Here we have advanced color grading, multi-cam editing, 3D modeling, audio editing, and motion graphics templates. So depending on which kind of needs you have personally, you should definitely analyze and keep in mind all of these pros and cons of every single one of these softwares, and then decide for yourself what, what exactly you want to do with them. And of course, your final pick is going to be your subjective choice. There's no better application in my opinion. Both of them do their certain things that of course differ between both of them. So it's your choice at the end. Right now, smart features of CapCut as well. AI characters, clear noise with one click, remove background, stabilize video, generate subtitles, and you can also share at the end 
to major media platforms. And let's make a conclusion. So CapCut stands out for its simplicity, basically easy to use interface, and just basically it's going to be very easy to use, even if you're a beginner, extensive features and accessibility. And on the other hand, Final Cut Pro offers a more complex interface and comprehensive feature set. And Final Cut Pro is going to be for people that are more experienced in video editing software. So this one's going to be more for you. And just like I said by myself, ultimately the choice between CapCut and Final Cut Pro depends on individual preferences skill level and editing needs so this is basically the comparison video guys thank you everyone who watched the video hopefully i helped some of you guys to decide which software to use among these two if you liked the video if it helped you subscribe to our channel like the video thank you for watching guys have a nice day